Hello Pisces and welcome to your love reading. This will be a 411 about your connection reading. Uh, this will be the 411 and everything you need to know about what your connection is going through, what's going on, what's the potential outcome. We're going to be looking at all of that today, Pisces. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but it will be a general love reading. So it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. All right, Pisces, let's get into it. Messages for Pisces in love. Okay, we'll start with you and them. How do you feel about each other? What's going on in this connection? Tell me about Pisces spirit. What is Pisces thinking or feeling at this time? Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, have you not told this person how you feel or do you suspect that this person is lying to you about something? Let's see, what about the person that Pisces is dealing with? What are their thoughts or feelings? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So there needs to be honesty here between you. Maybe you're holding back from this person. Now I have you on this side, Pisces, and your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Let's look at the mutual energies here. What are the mutual energies here, Spirit, for Pisces? Mutual energies. Using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. You can print this deck at home. The link is down below. What are the mutual energies here, Spirit? Oh, we got one already. Hidden motives, deception, hiding, cheating. Someone's hiding their true motives. We got two cards here about deception and two masks. Tell me more about this mutual energy spirit for Pisces. Mutual energy here between these two in this connection. Okay, we got two. We got tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling stuck or trapped in a situation and balancing act, imbalance, indecision, juggling. You're trying to restore balance in a situation. Interesting. We're gonna have to get in here and like figure out what is going on. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Pure seduction, less temptation, desire. You are being tempted to give in to your desires. Hmm. Let's get into the tarot. I want to know what the heck is going on here. I'm just going to pick all of the cards at once here. Spirit, please let me know. That's what you say. For Pisces. What do we need to know? For Pisces, what do we need to know? Magician, Five of Pentacles, Reverse, King of Cups, Reverse, Five of Wands, Reverse, Ace of Wands. So your person definitely wants to, yeah, wow, the lovers. Your person here, you know, they want to fix whatever conflict there has been. They want to have a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands, a new beginning in love. They want to, you know, whatever decision is here that they have to make with the lovers, I feel like they, they're choosing you here. However, on your side, it's like you're trying to manifest a way in, you know, a way in out of the cold. You're trying to manifest some sort of a recovery here with this person. But with the King of Cups reverse, it's like maybe you're not being completely honest about how you feel here. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Reverse, Seven of Wands, Reverse. I don't know why I want one more here. King of Pentacles. Interesting.
Seven of Wands reverse, Seven of Pentacles reverse. I feel like someone's ready to give up or trying not to give up on this. Let's clarify. Let me clarify for Pisces. What is going on here? I can already tell this is going to be a very unique reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. But feel free to comment down below and tell me how the reading is resonating because I do love to hear from you guys. All right, let's see, Pisces. Let's get into this. Let's start with you. What's this magician doing here for Pisces? Three of Cups reversed. Okay, can I get one more? What's the magician about? Judgment. What in the world? Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords reverse? Okay. I'm, I'm getting two very different messages here. Remember that I'm reading for a lot of people. So, you know, this could be a reading for two people. <laughs> but what I'm getting here is two different messages. The first message is that someone you're manifesting, you know, for me, you are on this side. You're manifesting some sort of second chance or rebirth with this person. However, there is an interference. And so it's almost like you want to, you want to make sure this interference is no longer a problem or this interference can no longer be a problem in order to have a rebirth. So you're trying to manifest something there. For others of you, I feel like you want to catch your person in a third party so that you can make a judgment call. Two very different messages there. Tell me about this King of Cups reverse. Chariot reverse, Cancer energy. Tell me more about this King of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups reverse. Interesting, if you're hiding your feelings from, from this person or you haven't been open about this person, I feel like you feel stuck or trapped. Are you in a commitment already? Tell me about the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles tends to already be in a commitment. They sometimes um, even have children for me as a reader. Wow, the lovers reverse. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Gemini energy with the lovers. Sun reverse. The lovers reverse is a regret over a choice or a bad choice being made. Someone needing to make another choice. Sun reverse. I feel like something's hidden here. There's something hidden here. Please tell me if this is resonating. What is the story here? Because there is deception in this connection. I just don't know what that deception is about. Someone's hiding their true motives or feelings. The sun reverse. This is about hiding clouds over the sun. No, no light, no clarity, no radiance. Um, and the king of pentacles reverse is someone who's very successful, uh, grounded, tends to be a, a parent or a spouse, um, good with money. It's almost like you feel like you made a bad choice in a partner but now you're stuck and you can't admit your feelings about someone else. That's what I'm picking up so far. We'll see the further we get into this because we're going to find out all we need to, to know about this connection. Tell me about this five of wands reverse. This person wants, wants to have a new beginning with you. A lot of passion, movement, excitement. Magician. Yeah, your person is also manifesting. I feel like there's a delayed new beginning here because of whatever this five of wands is. Um, it could be that there is still conflict or a lot of people involved in this connection. 
It could be that someone's trying to manifest a new beginning and they don't even care how hard it's going to be or what delays there might be here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Just move my card down here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, please. Yeah, they want to grow with you. They want a new beginning here, for sure. Tell me about the lovers. Four of coin, reverse. They have to let go of something to make this choice. Yeah, they're breaking free of their fear or of a situation they were stuck in in order to make this choice. And it's heartbreaking for them. Ten of Cups reverse. It's almost like, um, oh my goodness. Are you both in a commitment? Oh my gosh. Tell me if that's the case down in the comments, please. Tell me what's going on, Pisces. This person's heartbroken or just not emotionally fulfilled their their imagination is like you know or whatever their dream is it's not happening and i feel like they're breaking free of a situation like they're trapped in their head about something um and needing to let something go but then i have the ten of cups reverse so it's almost like with the devil reverse so it's almost like breaking free of um emotional disappointment or of a family I cannot wait to, to dig into it. This is so like crazy right now. So what's going on in this connection? What's this nine of pentacles about? This is independence, freedom, stability, having it all, but only missing love. Seven of cups. Someone wants to be free to have options. Yeah, they wanna let go of a burden. They wanna be free of a burden they want to be free of confusion. They want to have options again with the five of wands reverse want to have, you know, no, no, no longer be in, in, in conflict or have too many people involved. What's the seven of wands reversed about with balancing act. It's like is someone juggling two people, two different situations. What's going on? The wheel. Can I get one more for the Seven of Wands reverse? Three of Coin. Five of Wands reverse at the bottom again. Someone wants things to change, wants the wheel to turn in their favor or the wheel is going to turn in their favor so that they can work on something here. So they can put effort into something here. Seven of Wands reverses someone that's no longer resisting, no longer guarded, no longer fighting back, ready to give up on something here. Maybe this is someone who is still fighting for something even when it's not good for them, but I'm not picking that up. It's almost like this person is no longer fighting, no longer wanting to fight back. They want to change altogether. So let's get into this. What is the 411 that we can find out about this connection, about this other person that you're dealing with, Pisces? Oops, that's not my deck, my deck's up here. So actually I wanna get this deck. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this connection? Okay. Ten of coin reverse, four of swords. What does Pisces need to know about this connection? With four of swords, there's no communication or no movement here. Just thinking. 
full reverse. With ten of coin reverse, again with the seven of cups, with ten of coin reverse, this is someone who, or a situation where there's no stability, no security, family situation that's not very stable, financial difficulty, could be even a broken commitment. So I'm going to use my Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is just a sample that I have here. Um, it'll be a full deck soon. But I wanted to use the sample because I really love it so far. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Pisces? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. See, it, I feel like this might be you or it could be this person that is not being open about something. Wearing a mask here. What else can you tell me? You are always on my mind. Bottom of the deck, I feel alone. Interesting, I feel alone. Alone, even though you're surrounded, I feel like this person, both of you have something that you're dealing with, whether it's another partner or family situation. Because you've both gotten cards about that. Let me clarify. Now with this Four of Swords, there might be very little communication or something's not being expressed here. But let's start with this Ten of Coin Reverse. What is this Ten of Coin Reverse about? Hierophant Reverse. This is definitely a broken commitment. Okay, tell me about this Four of Swords. World Reverse. Lack of closure, a chapter needing to be closed. Resisting a new cycle. Seven of Pentacles. Unfinished business. I feel like someone's wondering if another situation would have grown or expanded or if that would have been a better investment. Hang on. Tell me about the full reverse. Full reverse could be something extremely reckless. It could be a delayed new beginning. Tell me about the full reverse. Five of cups reverse. It could be that someone's ready for a new beginning and they don't care about, you know, how exactly it's going to affect them. They just want that new beginning no matter what. Kind of like F it. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Someone here, I feel like, you know, this is someone that has a lot of feelings for you or you have a lot of feelings for them. And it's almost like they want to recover what was lost. Um, I feel like this is someone that's always like thinking about you a lot. Tell me about the full reverse. Knight of coin, yeah. They want to make you an offer here. An offer that's very slow, but it's a stable one. They could even want to just talk to you about an opportunity. So let's see, what is challenging or blocking this connection? What are the hidden factors here? Challenges or blockages, please. To this connection. Challenges or blockages, please. King of coin reverse. Challenges or blockages, please. Moon reverse. And I saw that while I was shuffling too. There you are, Pisces. Challenges or blockages. Temperance reverse. Yeah, something's not going coming together. Sagittarius energy. I have um, justice at the bottom of the deck here. Libra energy. I feel like someone is waiting for justice or a legal situation to like wrap up or for something to come together in balance and, and for the truth to come out here with the moon reverse. But this is still a challenge or a block. The moon reverse, literally like hidden factors is right there. Um, what's this moon reverse about? 
And then I'll talk about this King of Coin reverse. Why is the moon reverse? Why is this a challenge or a block? Eight of Cups. Leaving a situation, walking away. Full reversed again. It's almost like, like I'm saying, like someone's going to walk away even if it, that's not the smartest thing to do because they just don't care anymore. It could be that they're walking away towards a new beginning, even, you know, it's delayed, but they're still going to walk away here. King of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, this King of Cups is someone that has a lot of emotion for you. A lot of feelings, a lot of love here. And with this moon reverse, it's almost like this is going to come to light, how they feel, what they want to do. Tell me about this temperance reverse. King of Swords. Tell me about this temperance card reverse, please. Two of Swords. Yeah, whatever here is um, needing more time with temperance reverse, something's not coming together in harmony. Something needs more time to be balanced or blended. I feel like it, it's a decision. That's why there's time issues here. Someone needs to make a difficult decision, is undecided, but this King of Swords is a very decisive person, very wise. I have the Queen of Cups reversed and the Eight of Wands. Emotionally, I feel like this person is kind of like dependent on you or perhaps this is how you feel about them. You know, you, you have some sort of tie to this person. Uh, maybe you're heartbroken that you're not together, that this is not, this decision hasn't been made or maybe you really want this person to choose you, something like that. I feel like they're a King of Cups and you're a Queen of Cups reverse Pisces. Of course, it could be flipped, but that's how I'm feeling so far. Hmm, what's this king of coin reverse? Queen of coin. See, it's like every pair that I have, um, where it's the king of cups and queen of cups, king of coin, queen of coin, one of you is upright, one of you is reverse. So it's like you're not exactly on the same page here. Tell me about the king of coin reverse, please. Death, Scorpio energy. Change, transformation, endings. Seven of Wands. So what I'm picking up here in three of uh, uh, the Empress at the bottom, sorry. So what I'm picking up here is almost like this person is going to fight for an ending or a change in their life. No matter what opposition gets, you know, whatever, whoever wants to stand in their way, they're going to stand their ground and they're going to have a change or a new cycle here. At least this is what they are feeling, you know, like this is what they want. However, it's challenged because I feel like this person lacks resources or is not very stable or something like that. I feel like they really want to get to their queen of coin. They're going to fight for that, for that person. This could also be someone that needs to end a commitment again, because I have King of coin, queen of coin. So they tend to be in a marriage for me as a reader with the death card in between them. You know, that's what I'm picking up. Like there's something ending between them here. And it's because someone wants to fight for growth for something else to grow here. And there's the high priestess reverse with the six of swords right after. So it's almost like someone's having some sort of, uh, you know, speaking up moment and leaving a situation. So let's get to the potential outcomes. All right, potential outcome please for Pisces. What is the potential outcome spirit for Pisces and this other person? Potential outcome please. Empress reverse, what is the potential outcome? Queen of Wands reverse. Potential outcome, please, for Pisces. And this other person. Magician reverse. Okay. Star at the bottom, Aquarius energy. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that something here is having a really hard time manifesting. I don't think it's not going to manifest. I just think given what we have here, 
the fact that someone feels trapped or stuck, the fact that there's a balancing act that someone needs to do here, there's indecision, juggling, and imbalance, the fact that someone's wearing a mask, there's deception, hidden motives, or someone's not really expressing how they truly feel. All of this is a barrier to manifesting. There's still hope though with the star. There's still faith. There's still a wish that someone has to, to turn this around, to make this happen. However, in the near future, what I see is, you know, delays. I see difficulty. I see someone that maybe doesn't have the resources at this time to manifest what they want to manifest. This Queen of Wands reverse could be somebody in between you or someone surrounding this connection. And they're interfering in some way. This could be a parent, a friend, a partner, an ex-partner. This could also be someone that, you know, if this is your person, they don't have the courage or the they're not stable enough to, to do what needs to be done. Because the Queen of Wands, when she's upright, she gets whatever she needs to get done, it gets done. However, with the star at the bottom of the deck, this isn't forever. This is just what's happening in the near future. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. If you'd like to support the channel for free, then please consider liking this video and subscribing. And it helps the channel grow. Uh, thank you to everyone who has already done that. I really appreciate it. Please let me know in the comments if this resonated for you. All right, everybody, take care.